In this video, we're going to implement some indirect lighting in the V-Ray rendering engine in Rhino. I'm extending a scene that I used for my daylighting video, and what we're going to do is create some cove lighting around one of the columns. And so I've built this simple enclosure. I'm going to select and hide my ceiling and zoom select it to that object, and we can see that there is a ledge for an indirect light to be sitting wrapping around the column on the outside and also on the inside of this uh, piece of geometry. And the way we're going to do that is not with a light object, but actually with a material. We're going to, to build a simple piece of model, and we're going to apply something called an emissive material to that model. So let's build that I'm going to, I think, offset by a distance of one. I have a curve here. I'm going to offset that way. And I'm going to offset a curve that I have here that way. So I have these two objects. Let's look at them in a perspective view. I'm going to move them down five inches, so they will be almost at the level of the platform of the cove. And then I'm going to run a command called pipe with a radius of 0.7. And that is going to take a round section and wrap it around these objects so you can see they now resemble pipes. They're pieces of geometry rather than simply lines. And I'm going to take those two objects and in my V-Ray Asset Editor, under my materials, I'm going to make a material of type emissive. And I'm going to apply to selection. And with the right side of my Asset Editor open, with an emissive material, I can see I have a color. Let's set this to be slightly on the warm side, the incandescent side. And an intensity, let's set that to be three. And that should work. I'm going to take the floor and make a new generic material. And let's just call this floor. I'm going to apply a darker tone because our floor was very, very bright. And it was going to make it a little hard to see. The scene, I'll set back my lighting test viewport and show my ceiling. There we go. And I have daylight coming in, and I have two pipes, one obscured by the outside of this cove and shining up and around into the ceiling. It's going to give off. It's going to emit light. And then I have another object on the inside. So both should create kind of bands of light that wash up into the ceiling and down around that column and into the rest of the floor. Let's click render and see what we get. And there we have it. If, if you've watched the daylighting video, you'll notice that my scene is significantly darker and that's because of the floor. Changing that floor material made the scene tremendously different in its amount of lighting or in its exposure. So perhaps I'd want to go to my camera settings in my V-Ray Asset Editor. And if I decrease this number, it is going to get more sensitive to light. So if I go from three and a half to 12 and render, my scene should overall get more bright. My camera is now more sensitive to light. And I can see the, the wash of indirect light coming from these piped objects with this emissive material. If I go back to my materials and make the color a little more dramatically orange and render. I can start to see quite clearly, at least on my screen, a, a very orange tone, I think far too orange. And if I were to increase the intensity and render, it is contributing more light into the scene. At the current stage, I think this is unrealistic for a soft indirect light, so I'm going to pull my intensity back to two, take my color swatch and set that to be a very subtle orange. And now I certainly have light coming out of that cove, but it's not, um, it's not drawing the eye more than I would want it to. And I can use this emissive material for 
anywhere that I would think of having a soft indirect light in a cove, around the edge of an object, even if I had a neon sign, any shape can be assigned an emissive material, and in which case it will generate, um, generate light into the scene, just as this cove is. So that's emissive material for indirect lighting in V-Ray for Rhino 3D.